Split is back. And as a race god, I'm so excited to play on it as I think it is one of the strongest maps for this agent. Here's why. On Split, it's so easy to do things like this. Here, here, here. Bruh, bruh, bruh. Woo! And this. Grenade! Oh my okay. god, there's a two got And dumb things like this. On site, on site! Grenade! But that's not all by chance, and that's why I wanted to go in depth with a three part series explaining why Race is so strong on this map. Totally not because I'm too lazy to film the second and third part right now. But without further ado, let's jump into number one Ray's defense sided nades. I use these lineups all the time in my actual games, and honestly, I thought I would never share them with anyone. But I wanted to celebrate my first video ever, so please like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. First, I'm going to show you several aggressive nades you can use to defend against an A push. One for attack respawn, this cubby right here, and the second cubby if they pushed out a bit. The craziest part is that all three of these nades can be thrown from A rafters. So for the nade and spawn, first you want to line up with the left of this toolbox. And then you want to jump and line it up with the left of that light post. And as you can see, the nade will land in their spawn. You should use this nade at the very start of the round to catch controllers and initiators like Brim and Sofa off guard as they usually are too focused on their abilities in this area. Next, I'll be showing you the two nades for both cubbies. For the correct angle into left cubby, create a small gap between the left and right wall and aim where I ping. And then for the right cubby, simply just bounce it against the left wall. These nades get even better if you have a teammate defending top ramp since they can shoot at the enemy team who are too busy getting out of the nade. If the enemies have already taken A site, these nades are basic lineups that cover the three main plant spots. First, one for backside. Second, behind middle box. And use the back wall to bounce the nade. And then lastly, default next to elbow. You can use the wall again to bounce the nade. And then one quick tip, if you know they are planting near elbow, you can quickly satchel to catch them off guard. Now for B side, there are 6 lineup spots that I like to use that you can throw all from the habit. Some of them you might already know, but bear with me as I explain why I think some of my lineups are better than the other videos I've seen. So if the enemy team is beginning to take sight, there are several super basic lineups. First for garage entrance, then behind pillar, and then back side. So I'll show you those first. So if the enemy team is about to enter side, you can just throw it at garage entrance. Super simple. Next, you can aim behind pillar. You can aim at the ground to get right behind the pillar. Otherwise, you can aim a little higher to get over the sage wall. Lastly, no brainer again, back side. Okay, so say the enemy team has taken B site, chances are they're playing a default, which is behind the box. So for my favorite nade is to aim at these two lines on the wire, run four, and then check your nade. Now I've seen a lot of tutorials which are telling you to aim at this red side, throw it above. You kind of have the nade cover the entire box. Now I don't really like this because the default plant spot is behind the box and if they see or hear the nade, they'll just run back, back here right, into safety. So the nade that I showed goes much deeper, behind, so if they're about to plant and then are trying to get off, they're still going to die. And then instead, if they decide to move forward, then you can just simply shoot them from heaven. 
So that's why I don't think the nade that other people are showing on their videos really makes sense. Lastly, if you know the enemy team has pushed up, maybe someone's below heaven or in this cubby over here. So for the first angle I'll show, simply aim at the poster and then left click and they'll go into that cubby. Some people might underhand it because they think the enemy is right below them, but the chances are a little unlikely because it's such an uncomfortable angle to hold that usually the enemies will stand over here close to the wall or a little off the angle over here. So if you know that they're in the cubby closer to CT, you can simply just aim it where I ping and it'll bounce into that cubby. Again, super easy, not too hard. And unlike default, I like the nade to explode around the box since here it's harder to tell which side of the box they may be. So that's it for defensive split lineups. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video and comment down below if you have better lineups or any questions. Thank you.